Hi, Ryan Hansen here with Hansen Carlin Architecture and Construction, and we're here today to talk to you a little bit about pre-wiring your home. So we're going to talk to you today a little bit about how we pre-wired this house. It's a home built in 1907, so it's very old, and history is really going to be important in this house. So, so we're going to talk to you about four different topics. We're going to talk about shades and window treatments. We're going to talk about audio, electrical switching, and we're gonna finish with a little bit of commentary on smart home and then maybe a few extra bonus tips on what not to do as you pre-wire your home. So let's start with talking about window treatments. So in this house, we did a mixture of both automated shades and also we're gonna do some manual shades. This is a pretty pricey investment to put in automated shades. Uh, at Hanson Carlin, we really like Lutron's Serena system. It's uh, available through different um, retailers and specialty shops, but Lutron does a really nice job integrating into your home and it's also minimally invasive to wire. So in this house, we thought about pre-wiring shades everywhere in the front of the home. So this is an area that you might want timers for waking up, going to bed, even being on vacation so that your shades will all automatically adjust and be able to go up and down for you. This system is incredible too, because it'll actually raise and lower the shades all at the same height. So in the morning when the shades go up, they all come up at the exact same height. It's just kind of a cool party trick to be honest, but also really functional as you go throughout your day, especially in a big home like this with over 40 windows, you're probably not gonna wanna raise and lower shades every single day, so this is a really great feature. So that's the first thing that you wanna think about. We'll show you the pre-wiring downstairs. All right, so we have back in here this closet where all of the different shade wires are running back. Now, we took the time to label them. That's probably gonna pay off later rather than having to figure out each one individually. Um, really simple though, just run the wires out through a couple of electrical boxes. Make sure you have enough switches in here too, just from an electricity standpoint. Lutron makes boxes that this will wire into and then um, you'll have the controllers. There's different technologies and ways that you can actually design the system and how you control the shades. It is obviously all smart compatible too from a smartphone, but this is what it looks like. We'll show you later uh, once the install's finished, the actual operation of these and the smart boxes that are gonna go in here. You can see here an example, we're in the master bedroom. We have this gigantic door and we have here just a really simple uh, 16 gauge wire that we ran into the walls all into a central location, which we'll show you in a minute. We pop it up right here in the, above the jam. And what we're gonna do is have actually four different shades. This will be a blackout option. And they're gonna be honeycomb and be able to come up and down, all synchronize those so they act as one unit. Now, from a style standpoint, you might still wanna have curtains. You might want them off to the side. Doubtfully, you'll wanna close them every single night. So curtains become more a decorative feature where the shades will be the more functional feature that'll just disappear during the day and give you that great view that you wanted in your home. We want in 100 years from now, people to look back on how we wired this home and say, that made sense and there's still use for it here today. 